Hey guys, I am back, back with another uh, video. This time I'm gonna be doing something a little different. This time I'm gonna be talking about the Wii U and why you should get a Wii U in 2023 and even after that. So even after this year you should still get a Wii U. Now, before I do that, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I have 222 subs. Thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. I really do. If we can get this channel to 300 subs, I will do you, I will do two reward videos. One of them will be a, a top 10, for example, and it'll be my first top 10. I'm planning on making it my first top 10. So... Yes, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Without any further ado, let's talk about the Wii U. So the Wii U. Now the Wii U was not was not really a well received. It was actually one of Nintendo's failures, sadly. It um it was like the GameCube and the um the Virtual Boy. It did really bad. It was marketed poorly. Sadly, the Wii U did really, really bad, and um, a lot of people don't don't really care for it. it. It's sad. I read comments. People don't care for the Wii U. But I'm here to tell you guys that the Wii U is awesome. It is a, a really, really, really cool system. I love the Wii U. The Wii U is probably my favorite Nintendo console. I think it's even better than the Switch. And that's saying something, because the Switch is very popular and well-known. I think the Switch has got some problems with it. But I'm going to be talking about why I think you guys should buy a Wii U in 2023 and even onward. So, one thing, for example, what makes the Wii U so cool is its looks. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this Wii U pad. Um, the Wii U pad itself looks really cool. Like the Wii, the, the system itself looks like another Wii, but it's supposed to because it's a Wii U. It's a, it's another, it's a, another version of a Wii. But they, they make it unique by making this cool looking gamepad. It's really cool. Like it's really cool looking. I love this gamepad. I do. I like it a lot. I do like this gamepad. And um. I think it's just a cool looking gamepad. It controls really well. For being a big gamepad, it does. It controls really well. See, unlike the Switch, you don't have to worry about having to constantly adjust the um the um the side of the systems, you know, the control pads. And stuff. You don't have to worry about worrying about that with the Wii U cuz you you don't have to take it apart and stuff to and all that. Because when you do it with the um, Switch and stuff, sometimes you take it apart and stuff and all that. But you don't have to do this with the Wii U. The Wii U may not be able to be taken everywhere like the like the Switch can. But I'm sure you could probably find a way to probably hack the system or something and allow it to take it anywhere. I'm pretty sure you could. But yes, the Wii U, though, it, it controls really well. It looks really well. And I think I think it's just really cool. That's not all I like about the Wii U. Also, it's system. Yeah, we need to talk about the system memory, the system, um, you know, main menu. The system main menu is really cool looking. Like, it is really, really cool looking. Like, it really is. It really is cool looking. But yeah, I really like the I really like it. But I like this I like it. It's just it's just cool looking. Like you got you got all you got all these me characters, all these me characters that come in and uh, and uh, you know uh, each color like each um like app has its own color me. These me's have different colored shirts. So you, it looks all fancy. So unlike the Switch, where the Switch is basically lame. At least what I've seen. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't got used the Switch that much, and maybe I don't know. But so far, so far, what I've seen, 
it looks it looks pretty dull and stuff. The menu on the Wii U, on the other hand, looks fancy. Like it, it has all those me characters, like that you know again that are they're on the um you know they're on the main menu and you um and you can you, you not only they're on the main menu but like I said they ha each app has that has a certain color to me to represent that color of the app. It's like the, the symbol of, the, of that app. So like the eShop, although the eShop is no longer available, that that me has or orange, they're orange, which is really cool. I like that. And that, that's not all about the system. The system's got great a great soundtrack. Like it is amazing. The loading between the loading screen, and then you got the not the, just the loading screen, but you got um, you got you know the system settings. The music's good there. The main menu is pretty cool. I like it. The music's really good. Now, I don't think it's as good as the DSi soundtrack or the, well, the Wii, but I think it's really good. Like, I think it's even better than the 3DS. And the 3DS came out, the 3DS came out in, um, 2000, you know, 11, before the Wii U did. So, so yeah, I think, I think the Wii U here, I think it's actually a pretty good system. I think it's pretty good with the, it's got a good system menu and all that, and it just has great music and all that. I think it's really good. That's the only reason why to get it, is for the music. Because you can listen to the soundtrack when you're going to the system settings, or the main menu when you're scrolling through stuff. I think it's just really cool. And then we gotta talk about the shop itself. Yeah, the shop's closed. I, I, I did a ranting video on that. I'm not ranting in this video. I'm praising stuff, so I'm not going to be ranting in this video. But, but yeah, the shop may be closed, but if you go to the shop, you can play a little mini game. You can play a little mini game, and uh, it, on the way to your shop, you can still do that, which is cool. It, it's, it's, not, it's not nothing to, um, really good. Bistacular, or how I can't say that word, spectacular, or whatever. Uh, I can't say that. Like I can't spit that out. But it's not nothing really amazing or anything. But it's still cool that they they ah, they have that for the Wii U. The Switch doesn't even have that. The Switch doesn't even have a shop theme. That the Wii U does. And although it's the same as the 3DS now, the 3DS didn't always have the the, the Wii U um music for the shop, it had its own, but they, they changed it to what it is now. But, um, but the thing is, though, is, um, it's still pretty cool, and you can actually hack, I mean, you can, not hack, you can mod your system and actually get the games you want on there. You can do that. Now, I'm not sure if it's very easy, guys. I haven't really heard people say if it's easy or not. Now, I don't know if I'll, well, I don't know if I'll mod it or not, but, but I, but I heard you can do that, and you can basically get all the games. I probably got to pay for them still, I'm pretty sure. But, but they're still, it's still worth the money because you can play DS games on this thing. You can play DS games. So people do, because people do. This video is for people that don't have a Wii U. This is what this video is for people who do not have a Wii U. And um, and, and, and yeah, you can, you can um, you know, you can play DS games on this thing, and the DS games are really cool. I played some of them. Now, I haven't played them on my Wii U here, but I played them on my my Wii U at my mother's house in Hannibal, and they're really cool. You got so many different ways you can play a DS game between just having the DS, like, on the screen, on the TV, or having the Wii U pad be the, the bottom screen of the DS, and then the TV being the top screen. It's so cool. Like, it is freaking awesome. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure probably, well, I'm pretty sure Nintendo will probably put it on the Switch, but... But I, I would suggest probably doing the Wii U because the Switch is... is going to, um, having membership and stuff. You need a membership to, like, to do a lot of these games, while the Wii U can just do them all for free, and even when you mod them. Well, actually, I don't know if you, well, you can't really do them for free, but I'm not sure if you can do them for free when you mod them, but even if they're, if you even have to pay for it, they shouldn't be that expensive. They should be pretty cheap. They are, a lot of games were cheap. I actually bu bought most of them pretty easily. I did have some trouble buying the downloadable only games, but I bought a lot of games. I did, and 
I spent like under a hundred dollars on like DS games alone. So it's pretty easy to get DS games if you buy them. And yeah, again, the shop's closed. I know that. But you can mod your, your Wii U and get the games, which is pretty cool. And I like that. I do like that a lot. So yeah, you can do that, and uh, yeah, again, it has its own theme, unlike the Switch Shop, where the Switch Shop doesn't have any music. I'm not sure why it doesn't have music, but it doesn't. You can just listen to music on the uh, shop, too. And you can, st you can still look around on games and stuff on there. Now, now, the, now the, the screen I'm showing you right now here, that screen is gone, but you can still go on the Wii U Shop in the 3DS Shop alone and look at games and stuff on there by going to and searching for them or something, which is pretty cool. You can't buy any of the games but unless you mod the system, but you can at least look at the stuff, which is pretty cool. And then we got, um, then we gotta talk about the other menu. Yes, the, the Wii U has two menus, two of them. So if you guys, if, it, if it, this hasn't convinced you yet, we, got, we now have to talk about the menu, the other menu, the Wii menu. The Wii U has another menu of the Wii. It's see, I think so far, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure so far the Wii is the Wii U is the only one of the systems to have two different menus in one system, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and I really like that. I really do. I really like that a lot, and um, and I just got I gotta say that you know. On the Wii, if you go to the Wii U menu, you can also go to a shop there. Now, once again, the shop is closed on the Wii, too. It's been closed since 2019. But you can also mod the system there, so you can do a lot on there. And, um, what I like to do on the Wii menu, I like to go to the Mii care the Mii, um, because the, the Wii has amazing soundtrack, too. It's got the Mii, the Mii, and, and all that. It's got a, the Mii, you know, um, channel and stuff where you can make Mii and stuff, which is pretty cool. I like that. You can do that. You can make me characters and all that, just like the Wii U, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I make me's all the time. I think it's fun. You can be creative. You can make me's from uh, like other, you know, stuff and all that, which is pretty cool. And also, speaking of me's, I didn't actually, I actually don't have this in my notes, but if you um, if you uh, you know, if you um, you know, go to the Wii U menu. Or you can actually take pictures of stuff, of, I think, characters and stuff, and make me's out of them, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can do that, which is really cool. I really like that. I do. Another thing that's pretty cool about, about the Wii menu is, apparently, I didn't know this until last year, but apparently, neither did the guy making the video. He made a short but on YouTube, but I'll actually put the link in the description so you guys can see it yourself. But apparently, you can actually play the Wii on the, the handheld. You can play the Wii games on the handheld, which is really cool. I did not know you can do that, because I, I tried that all the time, and I couldn't do that. But but I might make a video about that down the road, um, just its own video. But the fact that you can actually do that, that's pretty cool. That's really, really cool you can do that. And, um... And that's not all you can do. You can also push. A, I don't remember which buttons you push, but you push a, push a certain amount of buttons, and you can you can teleport right right to um the Wii menu. So if you don't want to go through all the process of the Wii U me menu loading, and then they go to the Wii, you can actually you can actually um you can actually um you know press the buttons and it'll take you right to it instead of having to go through all that which is really cool so yeah it's pretty cool what you can do with the Wii and the thing is though is kind of makes the Wii kind of pointless to get it's not completely pointless there are stuff that's on the Wii that ain't on the Wii U part that's the weather channel which is pretty cool there's a weather channel yeah there is one of them there's a weather channel and then there's also the GameCube section I don't remember if the. I think it, actually, I think you can play GameCube games on the Wii U too. I think I heard you can do that. I'm not sure. That's not really something I'm sure about. But I think you got to do stuff to you know do that. So I probably recommend getting a original Wii too. But the Wii U is definitely better than the Wii because the Wii U can do all of this plus it can do its own things too. So it makes it much better. 
So yeah, we got that. And then we gotta talk about the games themselves, because there's a lot of games that are not ported to the Switch, and probably won't be ported to the Switch anytime soon. And that's, um... And that, there's, there's one game called, uh, Wii U Party, that's not ported to the Switch. Neither is Nintendo Land, that ain't ported to the Switch. That's not ported to the Switch at all, and neither is, um... Neither is Mario Party 10, which I hear a lot of people don't like Mario Party 10, but the fact that you that it's not ported for the Switch either is is you know t saying something. That means there's a lot of games here that aren't ported to the Switch, and some of them that are ported to the Switch are actually not game. They don't have the same features like Mario 3D World. You can play Bowser's Fury and all of that, but you can't you can't blow in the system. That was what was really cool. Like I'm not gonna lie. I first, when I first played Mario 3D Land on the Wii, I mean 3D World, sorry, I meant to say 3D, 3D World. I mean, if you play Mario 3D World on the Wii U, you can blow into to the system and it'll move platforms. That's so cool. Apparently the Switch can't do that, because I, I watched on, uh, I think back in 20, if, if 20, um, 20, um, yeah, 2021, yeah, that's what it was. 2021, I watched Nathaniel Benny, uh, I think, do a ranking on all the, all the, um, Mario 3D World, um, levels, and he showed off the Switch version, and yeah, it's just platforms that are going up and down. I'm not sure if whether, whether changes that are worth to it, I'm not sure. But that's one thing I know that, that they did, they did that, so you can't, you, so you can't do that, and, um, that goes for New Super Mario Brothers, um, U, too. They don't have the, um, platform things there, and that, that makes the game kind of easy, but there's certain challenges that, that are, that you can only do that with the, um, platforms. So the, um, so you can only do that on the Wii U. So, some of these games, I would get on the Wii U, too. I would get some of these on the Switch, because the Switch, you know, has certain stuff the Wii U doesn't. But... But, you know, that, that's the thing, though. A lot of these games that are ported to the Switch, you still have to have the Wii U to experience the whole thing. So, uh, yeah. I know it's kind of silly, you know. Like, for, especially, with, I mean, with New Super Mario Bros. U, uh, you pro people could probably understand because, you know, there's a certain amount of challenges you can't do because they re removed it from the, the Switch version with the platforms and stuff. But with the uh, Mario 3D World, you know, Blowing platforms and stuff is not probably something people want to just buy a game for, but I would buy it because you can probably find the game out in the wild for probably about twenty something bucks. I, I think I bought the game about for about twenty bucks. And I I don't regret it, and I have it on the Switch. See, I have that game on the Switch. Now I haven't played it on the Switch, but I do have it on the Switch, and I, I don't regret buying it on the Wii U. So. And I had to rebuy it on the Wii U, I think. I think I had to rebuy that game on the Wii U. Because, unfortunately, the game, I think, got disappeared or something. I think I did. I can't remember. But I do have it on the Switch, too. And I think I, it's worth it. Because I like to blow... I think blowing in the... For, for the platforms to come is really cool. But, I don't know. Another thing I gotta say is pretty cool um, about the Wii U is... Um, if, you, if you guys... If you guys go to, um, if you guys go to the, um, the Me Maker, uh, not Me Maker, I mean the, um, the Nintendo browser, something cool happens. So if you guys are searching through the Nintendo browser and all that, and you go to the system, or, or, you can, you don't have to go to the system, like the, the pad or something, but you can, you can close the curtains, like, and, uh, and you can basically have a Me character singing and performing on stage. Which is really cool. Like it's really cool you can actually do that. But yes, you can do that. You can actually do that, which is really really cool. I like that. So you can actually um, if you go to Nintendo, because I don't think the Switch has a Nintendo browser. So yeah, it doesn't have a Nintendo browser. So you, if you go to the Wii U one though, the the, the me character will perform, like before you. Yeah. So it'll perform for you. Yeah, like if you're. Wanting to close the curtain and you're just bored, you can watch the me character entertain you, which is pretty cool. I like it. I like that touch to it. Cause not even the 3DS or the DSi have that. But um, that's pretty cool. Also, I, th I forgot to mention something about the me characters too. I forgot to mention this, but apparently, um, the me characters um, also will will celebrate your birthday. 
So if you have a birthday or something, it's an Easter egg, but for the Wii U, but it, that's what they call it. I didn't know they would call it that, but they do. I, that makes sense. I, it does make sense why they would call it that, but yeah. So if you, uh, if it's your birthday, you can you'll get a, a, a celebration, and the meat characters will perform and make some pretty music. Well, they won't perform. I mean, they I mean they won't perform, but they will make music and they'll clap and all that. Which is pretty cool. It's really cool that they actually do that. I like that. I think this is basically the last thing I wanted to talk about, though. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this. I, I would definitely recommend getting a Wii U if you guys haven't. And yeah, the shops are closed. But there's still so much more to the, to the Wii U. There's so much more to it. It's like a Wii, but it's better. And you can get it for a couple, couple hundred bucks. It's not really that expensive. I've seen it online. It's still pretty cheap. If you, if you, if it gets expensive, you can still go to a pawn shop or something and probably find it pretty cheap. The Wii U is just an underrated console in my opinion. And even Zack Scott Gaming doesn't even think getting a Wii U is um, worth it. I, I have to disagree with him. I think a Wii U is totally worth the money. It's totally worth it. And again, you can still mod your system and get games on the on the system. But I'm not sure if you have to pay for them or not, but you can mod your, mod your system. You can mod your system and get games. So there's a lot of things you can do with the Wii U. There's a lot you can do, which is pretty cool. And and, and yeah, it, it has a low a low amount of space, but you can always get a memory chip or something. I got one on my system. I was using it to download the rest of the games on the Wii U shop before it closed. And it, it stores a lot of stuff on there. So you can actually put a memory chip in there. And I think this memory chip here is a, let's see here, a 64 gigabyte. Is it 64 gigabyte? I'm not sure how far it goes up, but yeah, it works. I put it in a, you gotta put it in a, you gotta put the memory chip in a certain spot. Because I put it in the wrong spot because my little brother um, unhooked it. But you can put it in a certain spot. And it will actually um, it will actually help you store games on there a lot faster. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I think that the Wii U has that's actually worth it. And um, who knows, I might have some more stuff down the road. Because people are discovering stuff all the time with the Wii U. So there could be more stuff that I'm missing. If so, I might come back to this down the road. I will be making a video down the road where I show off the the um the Wii the Wii and uh, the fact you can play it on the tablet. I couldn't do it because I think I have to have it hooked up to the I have to have it hooked up to the um the TV first. And I don't have it hooked up to the TV because I think you have to use the TV to, to log into it. Then you can turn the TV off. Is what I heard on the video. So yeah. Anywho, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this convinced you guys to get a Wii U, because I definitely would recommend it. It's definitely worth the money. It's an amazing-looking console, and I, it's really good to control. And there's so many games that that are that you can only play on the Wii U, and some of them that are on the Switch don't have the same features they did on the Wii U. So, I definitely recommend this. I definitely would. So, anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and let things go here. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I love you uh, guys all. Take care and see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.